Hi everyone! Good job making it through week one. You did it! I'm really excited for you get to, to get to week two, um, but first just a little a couple of announcements. First, I'm really impressed with how well all of you are doing in the discussion board. You guys are really sharing some great insights and the conversations that are happening are just so wonderful to see. So thank you everyone. Thank you also for remembering to stick to the four post limit. Um, I really, really appreciate it. And kind of going off of that, I personally won't be responding to each discussion board post um, just because that would mean you guys would have 25 to 50 more to read and you don't want to do that. So if you don't have a dis uh, response from me, please don't think um, that I didn't read it because I did. I read every single post that you guys do, but I won't be responding personally unless there's something I can bring to the conversation um, that hasn't been mentioned or to maybe just like acknowledge something important that's happening, but it'll be rare for me to be in the discussion board actually posting. Um, so yeah. Um, and now we're going to go to week two. So week two is all about story time, and this is my favorite week. A lot of you mentioned in your introduction post that this is the reason you took the class. Um, and so this week's lecture is going to be a little bit longer. Normally my lectures are right about 15 minutes, but this one will be closer to 30, I think. Um, you will also have two guest lectures. And they are from Melissa Depper, who is so intelligent about everything early literacy, and Kendra Jones, who is just doing some really amazing work with young children. Um, and both of their blogs are linked to underneath their videos, so please check those out as well um, for some resources. And you'll also see this week there's a lot of non-required reading, and it's a lot of um, different story time outlines that I've gathered from other colleagues in the nation. Um, and I really just wanted to give you guys kind of a wide array of options for baby story time. One of your final projects is that you can create your own baby story time outline and actual plan. So please don't copy and paste one of the ones that are on the um, required, non required reading, make it your own. But I just wanted to give you guys a lot of sources to draw from. So, wonderful job. This week is much more fun than last week's. Last week was a little heavy, but this week is lots of fun. So, I hope you guys enjoy it. I really look forward to the discussion board this week. See you soon.